Ada.
राधे 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 Friday, 
and you will help us and we will go we will go there so now i want to hear something and after that if there that there will be time then i will explain some taken the chaitanya lines of rara nation that please that you got begin so i get like first thing description this will be given to you but try not to be too long so we can hear the chaitanya chaitanya inviting me this always wonderful vasnava family quite logically we would not all be in this room and knowing one another if prabhupad didn't come here we might have met one or two but this phenomenon is due to prabhupad coming here with practically nothing and bringing us krishna consciousness and in san francisco the new york temple 26 second avenue was just open and a few devotees from there the kunda and hari das and ray rama and Hari Griva eventually came with the Sri Prabhupada. There was no deities. There was hardly any books. There was the first non-Sanskrit edition of the Bhagavad Gita. There was no Murdangas. There was a few Kartals. There was no Dotis, no Tilak. We wore costume and had dogs and cats outside the temple and there wasn't even the chitanya prayers govinda jai jai nothing literally swami ji at the time spoon fed us Krishna consciousness a little bit here you are not this body was preached we couldn't quite understand it and we still don't understand it that's why prabhupad still preached it 12 or 13 years later and we didn't ask very very uh, deep questions but there was lots of chanting we did have our chapa beads although at first they were just large they were of different sh- shapes they were wooden or uh, not tosi beads per se and so prabhupada encouraged us to chant and he would speak but very simply as we could understand and he would speak about krishna and the past times in vrindavan and it enlivened our hearts but so much was all new to us and prabhupad was translating some books the bhagavad gita and 
He continued a mimeographed copy of Back to Godhead. And at first, there was not even a Vyasa Sama. There was a makeshift altar, and one of the devotees was an artist, and he put a totem pole next to the altar. Did you have a question? A totem pole. Uh, he thought the Panchatatra were women and painted them like that, and then Prabhupada told him, no, his painting should be changed. <laughs> And he was definitely father, but in his humility sometimes later on, he would also be like a son too. He would say, is that all right? And with complete humility and wisdom, he was able to attract so many sense gratifiers who in the days of uh, the hippies, we were, that was our goal, and uh, we were good at it. And he was able to attract us with his sincerity and his love and his expertise in being able to see each person and what they were like, encourage them that, that way. Jamuna was good in calligraphy. I was doing photography. Uh, I saw that if I wanted to be next to the Swami, I should do something which is Krishna service. So I began arranging television and radio programs, which meant I had to go inside to the room and have an audience and say such and such happened. We were going on the radio going on the television. And this happened. One television program, they were all set up, but there was a buzzing, and they couldn't figure it out. They said, why? What is the buzzing? And they all went and followed the wires and went into the machine. It took almost an hour, and then they followed it back to Prabhupada, and he was chanting. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to go walking, and one of the places was Stowe Lake. And this was a lesson to me, because at first we all wanted to walk next to Swamiji, and sometimes we were not letting our godbrothers or godsisters get close, and it was a, like that. So I said, well, I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to walk. Well. In this uh, habitual arrogance that sometimes we come from, we have, have uh, had our habits, there were some ducks sleeping right next to the lake. So someone came by and said, Get out of the way! Swamiji is coming! Get out of the way! And the ducks were sleeping and they got up and they were very grumpy. And they were quacking. And Prabhupada said, as you are thinking they are disturbing us, they are thinking we are disturbing them. So I saw, this is compassion, that you can see every living entity as a devotee of Krishna. And this compassion was displayed many times perhaps when I made a mistake and didn't get a receipt. But you American boys and girls are not trained this way. He would always forgive at the end. And so as a family, he slowly introduced the prayers. He slowly introduced shaved heads, tilak, mridanga, so many things finally the books. And all the time, from his descriptions, I was thinking of Vrindavan. I would like to go to Vrindavan. Now, as, as we got to be more in number, the family, 
it got to be harder and harder to have an audience for everyone. Although on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings, Swamiji Prabhupada would let us all come in the room like this. Well, the servants of Prabhupada finally said, don't let Guru Das in, because I thought, I can read these books, but I'm not such a great scholar. What I want to do is watch and be with Swamiji and see how he actually reacts to actual events now. Because I saw the analogy of, of Prabhupada being what it was like to be like when Krishna was there. Of course, I'm not saying he's Krishna. We all understand the philosophy. But when Krishna comes and you leave your milk boiling on the stove, it's that phenomenon. When Prabhupada came, or when he looked, or when he did this, it was like the center. And it enlivened and inspired us. So my idea was, I'm going to have as much time with Swamiji as possible. So they said, don't let Gurudas in to see him all the time. Not in a mean way, but just in the way that uh, he's here again. <laughs> and by Chaitya Guru, somehow or other, Chaitya Guru in my heart, Upender would go to the, the, the kitchen, and that's when I decided, well, maybe I'll go and see Swamiji. If they would come back and there was Gurdas again. And so I would do that, and like I say, through the years, that was one of my main uh, ways of becoming Krishna consciousness, to, to have as much time uh, with, with Prabhupada. And it could be Varnia Vopu also. It could be from the presence, or from the philosophy, or from hearing singing, or from thinking and remembering the smarna. That's very important. And that's what we can as a family do, is to remember Krishna and Lord Chaitanya. All these inspiring things on a daily basis, and in the holy name. And that will keep us going, keep us enthused. Um, there are many more pastimes, but I think I will leave that to the possibility that we may go on Friday, and then we can actually see this place, and this happened here, this happened here, this happened here. But he gave us, he brought everything from nothing, then we became more and more interested, and to this day, this is what's happened. We are a family together, and it is due to him coming and giving us this. And we must be very kind to one another. We must always nurture each other's Krishna conscious service. It's a small family, and a wonderful family. So let's help each other to become Krishna conscious. Thank you very much.